everyone, and welcome back to Mary Grace Spills the American Girl Tea, also known as MG Spills the AGT. This is the show where I talk about new releases from American Girl and tell you all about it. Well, everything that I know about it. And I also share my opinions about these releases. So it's basically like two videos in one. It's like a news broadcast, but then it's also like an opinion video. So I don't know, a lot of you guys seem to like it. So we're gonna keep doing it. But in this video, we are going to be talking about the new holiday leaks for the 2021 season. But before I show you these pictures of these new American Girl outfits and furniture pieces, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below to be notified when I have new episodes of Mary Grace Spills the Tea. Also make sure to follow my Instagram because I post photos of my dolls over there as well. Now these leaks were posted on the Facebook group American bracket AG girl doll obsessed BST, which means buy, sell, trade. And let's just say I really like this cover photo. Whoever did take this photo, this is really cute. I love it a lot. So here is the first leak and it looks like it's a Christmas dress. And when I first saw it, I thought it was um, interesting because it's kind of giving me Avril Lavigne punk princess vibes with the tiara, but then kind of this red plaid with no sleeves. It just looks very rocker. I don't know how to describe it. Especially with the little boots at the bottom. It seems really kind of like rock star kind of vibes it's giving me. And I just wanted to point out this comment that someone said. I'm gonna block out their names because I don't, I, you know, for privacy reasons. Is that an empty wallet she is holding? The irony, which I think is absolutely hilarious. What also makes this dress pretty cool is if you go to the next slide, it is a Welly Wisher version of the dress, which doesn't look as hardcore as the 18 inch doll one because it doesn't have a tiara, it just has a little headband and it has kind of ballet flats and it has sleeves. Next we have what I believe to be a Hanukkah outfit. And the reason I think it's a Hanukkah outfit is because it is white and blue, which are like the main colors for Hanukkah. And there is this Star of David necklace that comes with it, which is really cool. So it's like a six pointed star. That is really cute. I love the little frost snow detailing at the bottom and the sparkly gray or silver shoes. I think that is so cute. I love this outfit so much. I would definitely get this outfit for my dolls if I didn't just collect historicals. So this outfit wouldn't really work in my collection. However, it's so cute. Next, we have a Kwanzaa outfit, which is really cool. I know AG, I believe American Girl had one in the past during the 90s. Let me see if I can pull it up. If you are ever curious about an outfit or the um, release of an outfit or something like that, go to this website right here, agplaythings.com. Now they haven't posted in a few years. They haven't posted since the release of Be Forever. So if anything came out pre Be Forever, it's all cataloged in here. Everything from outfits to prototypes to the best friends. You can also download the sewing patterns, the official Pleasant Company sewing patterns. So if you want to make outfit fits for your, for your dolls, you can download them from, I'm jumping over all my words. You can download them for free from this website and I've used them before and they're awesome. Oh, okay. So in 1996, they did release a Kwanzaa outfit right here. So this is what it looks like. So this isn't the first time that they released something for Kwanzaa, but this really was released back in 1999 or wait, what was it? 96? Where am I? 1996. And it was discontinued in 1999. So that is a very long time that they haven't had a Kwanzaa outfit, considering that I wasn't even born then. And I'm old compared to a lot of people watching this video. So I think it's about time that they released another Kwanzaa outfit. And then of course down here, they have another Hanukkah outfit right here. Uh, this person has it pictured with Kit. And this one was also discontinued in 1999, but released in 1996. And then there is also a Chinese New Year outfit right here, and it has the coveted number four. Here's the definition of coveted, greatly desired or envied. Yeah, I just needed to double check to make sure that I actually was using the word coveted correctly. But yeah, so a lot of people want this doll. Oh, okay, here's, here's my favorite. I love this one so much. I love the Lunar New Year so much. I just think like whenever you see like the celebrations and stuff like that in China, it's so beautiful and so gorgeous. 
and especially if you've ever been to Toronto's Chinatown during this time of year. And this outfit is really beautiful. Like I love how it's kind of like a pinky red, like that's gorgeous with the gold detailing. And look at those gold shoes and the little red hair clip. And also I love this red detail here, which is a red envelope, which I mean, I'm not Chinese myself. I don't know that much about Chinese culture, but I know that these envelopes, you're supposed to put money into it. And apparently it's a time of year where lots of people give money to each other. So like these red envelopes are really important and symbolic. But anyways, this doll is so cute. I, I wish I had a Jess mold in my collection. The thing is that American Girl has no historicals out with the Jess mold. And if you know me, I only collect historicals. And the only historical that had a Jess face mold w was Ivy. I'm not really a fan of Ivy because I don't like her haircut and she is super expensive on eBay. But like, for example, if this doll right here was a historical, you know I would have bought her already. Cause look at those beautiful curls and how long her hair is and those beautiful eyes and her cute cheeks. And she's just so cute. I hope these are available in Canada. Anyways, we gotta move on. Okay, so this dress is also gorgeous. So it looks to be like an Indian dress. And honestly, it's so cute. It's so cute. I love the pink and I love the yellow gold. It's so cute. And the doll that's wearing this is absolutely adorable too. She's so cute. I love her hair. It's it's amazing. I don't know that much about Indian culture at all. So if you could leave a comment down below letting me know, is this some sort of like special outfit that you wear during the holidays? Or is this just like a fancy outfit in general? Is there any cultural significance behind it? Or does it just look really pretty? Because it looks really pretty. Anyways, I love the design of it. It is so cute and adorable. Like, oh, it's just so cute. And as far as I know, they didn't make one of these outfits in the past before. Um, like when it was Pleasant Company or like, you know how I showed you before on AG Playthings that they did create a Chinese New Year outfit and they did create a Hanukkah outfit before. I don't think they've actually done this in the past, which is really cool. Next is what most of you are probably the most excited for. And this looks like a, the first uh, Muslim outfit for American Girl. And it comes with a hijab, which is really cool. And it's, I love the colors. First of all, I love the pink and the blue. Um, I actually wore a very similar outfit the other day at school. I wore a pink coat and I had a shirt that was blue like this. So anyways, I love this color combination. The sandals are so cute. I just think this is adorable. And I think, um, I hope this isn't where American Girl stops with the Muslim rep rep yeah. representation. I really hope that we actually get an official character that is Muslim and not just an outfit because I think a character would be so cool and it would just, you know, I think educate a lot of people, create more acceptance. Cause I know that's something that um, Muslim people struggle with, especially in America, um, just kind of people accepting them for who they are. So if anyone would tell me what she is holding and does this outfit mean anything? Like, is it for a specific holiday or is it just a fancy outfit? You know, please leave that in the comment section below and I would love to read it. And I'm pretty sure the people watching this video would love to hear about it as well. So just leave all that information in the comment section below. Next, we have a cafe set. It looks like a little Starbucks or something, except for it's not green, it's blue. But it looks so cool. You have little coffee machines, you have little donuts and little like cups of fancy stuff. Okay, you know what the first thought is when I see this? Expensive, okay? I have a feeling this is gonna cost like 500 bucks or something. Next, we have another picture of that McKenna looking doll. Again, don't know how it's pronounced. Make sure to go watch my World by Us Leaks video because um, I talk about these dolls more in detail. But in this photo, we can clearly see that she has hair clips with butterflies. And this is a picture of her book. How do you feel about these new book designs? Do you think that they look like American Girl books? Or do you think that maybe American Girl's trying new things? to see if they can increase their book sales. Like maybe this is a new style. Maybe kids like this style of books more. I don't know, but what do you think? 
And then we have her accessories, I believe, here. This is actually kind of cute, this motorcycle jacket. That's kind of cute. Next, we have my favorite doll, which I've been calling Yvette, but, you know, I have no idea. This stock photo looks kind of weird. Her face looks a little different from the other photos. Her dress also looks more orange when before it was kind of more yellow, because if you know me, I do not like the color orange. But her boots are quite cute. And I'm. this is a photo of her book which I think the book looks really cool. That's kind of disappointing. So it looks like she's wearing a jean jacket in this photo, in like the photo of her book. But then this is gray right here with sunglasses. Sunglasses are really cute. The little bee on her bag is also cute, but I really would have liked it if it was just a regular jean jacket. I don't know how well the gray is gonna go with the rest of her outfit, especially with it being striped and then her having flowers on her actual dress. Next, we have the doll who really likes to play soccer. I'm forgetting her name right now, but I really like the picture of her book. It looks really cool. I love the little details and how there's like a little hair in front of her face. Like that's just a cute detail. To her accessories, this coat is really cool. It looks like it might be see-through, which is pretty stylish, pretty on trend. Love her water bottle. It's cute. Okay, I guess. I don't know. It's just kind of like a wall with like, I don't even know if you get a chair. Like it just, it looks like a really small desk. You have like this little laptop Chromebook looking thing. You have a water bottle. And then these posters are pretty cool. It looks like this one says Stronger Together. And I'm assuming even though it's really blurry, but I think it says now is the time for change, which will meet the theme of World by S pretty well. Next, we kind of have this arts and crafts table, which I'm not sure if it is World by Us or not. I'm pretty sure the last one was World by Us just because of the inspirational pictures in the background. But you kind of have this glue gun, which is really cute. Some scissors. Um... Uh, maybe this will be important to the stories of the world by us for some reason. Or maybe American Girl is kind of running out of ideas. So we're, they're like, we're going to do a craft table. I don't know how sturdy these chairs are going to be and if they are actually going to be able to fit American Girl. I'm not going to lie. Next, we have this really cool couch, which is really cool along with this lamp. But it does look like something off the set of a Disney Channel movie. I don't know. It is cute. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty cute. But kind of crazy at the same time. Like, what is this? What is this lamp? Next, we have a mini fridge, which a lot of people are freaking out over. And I'm like, it's orange. You know, like that just adds to the fact that I do not like the color orange. But it comes with little snacks, like some 4011s, like this post if you work in a grocery store and you know what I mean by that. Can you tell that I'm exhausted? I'm so tired. It is the first week of university. And I slept in a lot this morning because I'm exhausted. But at least it makes a better video for you guys because now I am have no filter and I'm funny, I guess. I, I don't know. But there's an apple and some caramel corn, which I'm assuming is popcorn, but caramel. Oh. And the poster on the fridge says, justice can't be just us. And then let love win. And what is that I see there? Is, is that a rainbow heart? Are they going to be talking about LGBTQ issues with World by Us? I was not expecting that. But I am very excited if that is true. That, I'm shocked actually. Um, that is crazy. Um, if it is true, I mean, if American Girl, I know American Girl kind of dipped their toes in it with Kira and her aunts, but if they're going to be discussing LGBTQ issues, I will be very, very happy. And we're back to the start. So those are all the leaks for the new American Girl release in uh, October, maybe? I don't know. I'm kind of getting this impression that American Girl releases these kind of things, like leaks, quote unquote, like, you know. So it's actually somebody from American Girl that gets the approval from American Girl to release this just so we can build hype around it, just so people like me make videos on it, just so they can kind of gauge the feedback people will have. Who knows, maybe they're watching this video right now. Uh-oh. This is definitely a step in the right direction in my opinion. I definitely think the Lunar New Year outfit is so cute. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you never miss another episode of MG Spills the Tea. And follow me on Instagram. 
And that is it for today. I have to go to class very soon. So I will see you guys later.